I stand Sir Oleg here. Welcome to my vlog. So in my channel, I'm trying to divide it into two things. The one is going to be very concise skating how-to videos, and the other is going to be the vlogs where I can go and explore various concepts, mostly to do with the mental aspect of skating. Okay, so the technical aspect is very important, but mental makes up maybe, I don't know, 50% of your total package, your performance. And this becomes ever more evident as your skating skills improve. How you approach training, what your attitude is toward the day, toward the coach, toward the competition, will have a major impact on how much progress you're gonna get. Now, a lot of the things I'm gonna cover, you can kind of jump ahead and learn for yourself if you haven't already, in this book that I read, The Mind Gym. Now, I study this, and I'm going to study it even more until I master all the concepts there. It's a book used by a lot of athletes, and it shares with them the science of success, basically. It talks about what it takes to get that edge, to get ahead of the game. And I find it very helpful for myself. Among other things, it covers things like breathing exercises, mental preparation, positive approaches toward whatever outcome you have. I mean, sometimes you're going to have setbacks and you're going to have to be able to deal with it. Sometimes you're going to have a bad call or a mistake and then you're going to have to work around it. Or you can go to pieces. <laughs> but nobody wants that. So this is why we do this. Okay, so what I wanted to tell you now is the goals. We all have goals, but what's important to understand is, let's say you have a test or a competition, or whatever, you have to understand that it's not necessarily at that moment when you go out to do the test. In a way, you kind of predetermine the outcome as you trained into it. Now, there's always the chaos aspect. Something can go wrong. I mean, even with the best preparation, sometimes your programs, your test, whatever, will not work as the way you want it to. I mean, it happens. <laughs> and that's another thing. You have to be able to overcome failure. You have to be very, very, very determined. But and we're not talking about that right now. Today, what we're talking about is how you approach your training. So I like to think of it this way. Now, I'm not a master of this. I'm still working on this. But when I go to train, I try and remind myself each time that what I do today, this day, at this training session, will have an impact on my future goals. And I know it sounds strange, but think about it. Okay, so if your goal say, is to do a test. Now, you might make a mistake, you might fall, but what's important is that if you train each day to the fullest of your ability, then odds are your skating skills will be such that you'll be able to overcome it. So even on said test, you might get a reskate, for example. Or in a competition, though you won't get a reskate, you can you can lose with having bad mistakes that happens but you cannot win without skating skills especially in dance so by improving that aspect of it it's going to be there i mean your foundations your core and you do it by applying yourself each and every time you come to the rink so remind yourself what you do today on this day is very important Okay, so let's recap. Work with a sports psychologist or get a mind gym. It's by Gary Mack or maybe any other book that deals with the science of success or, you know, the mental preparation aspect of it. It's going to make a big difference in your skating. And as a coach also, I mean, I primarily I think of myself as an athlete, but thanks to you guys and my own students here, you know, I'm also a coach. I like to think that I'm able to see how much a skater can progress in a given session. And, you know, and it's, and even from my own experience, you know, if I come in feeling down or upset, you know, if I bring baggage with me to the rink or, you know, I make some mistakes and I let it get to me, then I could see that it's going to affect my performance. And, you know, you lose time that way and the clock is always ticking, whether you like it or not. So if something bad happens, take a minute, but only a minute, because the clock isn't going to stop for you. You have to get back on that horse and keep going.
Legolas, get them up. Give them a moment, for pity's sake. By nightfall, these hills will be swarming with orcs. We must reach the woods of Lothlorien. Come, Boromir. Legolas. Gimli, get them up. On your feet, Sam. 